one of them and we suck. Okay, one ship to go. Turret flying out. Jumping between two and three. There he goes. Welcome back everyone. It is good to be back and we're back with Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts. And it is absolutely a brilliant game as is in early access. I know there's not, not everybody's going to be happy with an early access game, but just remember that it is currently in development. But my big reason for jumping into the game was the whole build side of the uh, simulator or naval simulator. So when we, we might actually get into that straight away when we start off our campaign today so here we go now we did lose our battle last time in our first episode of the campaign now we're out playing as the germans i'm not too fussed really who i just really want to jump into a game so it was the first one that popped up and that's what we went with now we lost our first battle we were i think two heavy cruisers against five or six maybe torpedo boats we did take all of them out, but they took out one of our heavy cruisers, which is a major blow to us because we lost quite a few sailors. I think it was three or four or maybe even 600 sailors. Now, if we go back to our world view, we only have a crew pool of 2,311 and getting 98 um, extras per cycle or per turn. So that, that hurt. Now, we are increasing our shipyard size, which is going to which you'll see in a moment when we go into our ship design menu. So there is a battle currently outstanding. Now, unfortunately, I aren't able to withdraw this. I aren't able to delay it. We're going to have to battle it. So it's a battle cruiser uh, against a heavy cruiser and a couple of torpedo boats. But they're going to have two heavy cruisers, three light cruisers and a torpedo boat. So we're well... Tonnage wise, yeah, you could say we're quite close or not really three, six, no, we're quite, we're quite outclassed here. So it's not a battle I'm going to fight. I'm going to, I'm going to launch this one and I'll probably just skip it. So I'll get that out the way and we'll get into our ship design. So again two heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, and a torpedo boat. Now, we might have the range with the battleship, potentially, but we are really outmatched, so we're not going to go in for this battle. We are going to turn around and run. So, we are... What's our last report? Enemy smoke to the west, so we are going to turn around and go to the east. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to run or outrun these guys, so we are going to have to jump into the battle and see what we can come up with. We're already on fire, so we're going to get this torpedo boat to bug out. But he's not on high speed. Let's get him on high speed. You're on high speed. You're not... All right, so we are going to try to keep our distance with our battleship. Try to take that torpedo boat out early.
and I will get you to follow you. Oops. You can follow. Okay. Let's see if we can damage this torpedo boat. And I'm going to try to get this torpedo boat to torpedo this light cruiser. And it's heavy to take, get some damage. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try to put some holes into him and slow him down pretty quickly. So we also have, we've got the light cruiser here, which if we have a look at him, a couple of turrets on the back, a couple of heavy turrets on the back actually, so he hasn't even got into using those yet, but we are, porcupine is quite damaged. But we might be able to outrun. Why are we so slow? It's because he's following the battleship. Yeah, that's why. That's fine. Let's get in front of that top boat. We should be able to take this porcupine out but I don't want to get in his torpedo range so we're gonna bug out this way We're at five, six percent, close to six percent chance, but his top range is getting quite close. And we're missing. All right, we're gonna bug out. Not too fast. I don't want him to launch torps at him, so we're gonna put torps on hold. At the moment. We're gonna try to bring this torp boat. Okay, good, his main gun's down. We should be able to pretty heavily damage him. Can't believe you missed that. He will put torps in the water, pretty sure, but we might be able to slow him down. getting done now let's move you to fire on him all right we should have it done and dusted before he took those come on all right we're going to try to do a torp run Hmm. 
knew this was going to happen. Oh, I can't believe that he got through. lose that we're gonna lose our ship now We will lose a heavy, taking out his light, and we're severely limited, but it's like we're pumping out a bit of water on the Victoria Louise, and that close call we should be able to Fix him up. Save this torpedo boat for later. I want to take out these other lights. If we can get the two lights, it'll be worth it. So I am hoping we'll save our battleship for later. I want to sink. Save your torp for later. Come on. Done. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. He's gone. Totally lost all our engines. Alright, we're gonna fire on this. You're going into. And you're going. You're loaded? No, you're not quite loaded. Maybe we can put some holes into it. And I am hoping this heavy will come won't destroy this turbo torpedo boat too early and I can take him out with a torpedo. I'm trying to get in coverage but we're in some heavy fire over here.
Smoke screens are up. Fortunately, we don't have smoke screens. The line on this BB to put a few holes into him to slow him down for our talk boat. All right, here we go. You may as well start heading into here. Now we are slow, which means we're an easy target. And the only way is if we can slow this Orlando down. Oh, we've got some engine. We are starting to move a little bit. Okay. So now we have a chance to target that boat. If we can put a target on his back. We're going to go up now and launch some torpedoes, but I'm not going to turn them on just yet. finished. Come on. We lost our torpedo boat. It's finished. We can't survive that. in for this stay up with this tour BB at the moment it's gonna get finished but why don't you launch your torpedoes due to the range I guess see you later This guy. Detach. We're two Ks away. That's some heavy firepower. We are now going to go through and see if we can take out one of these light cruisers. Not yet, not yet, not yet. One for one, and we sunk him. Let's get out of here. We are going to be dead in the water. And we've severely damaged both. So we've lost our two torpedo boats. We've sunk two light cruisers. 
and we should be able to sink that one. This heavy cruiser is doing very well against these guys. Structurally, they're hurting us, though. Nice one. Oh, we might have him here. We... We have flooded him quite badly. We... Ooh, we could get another shot off to him. We would have him. So close. He'll pump that out in no time, though. That was close. Hopefully, we can get another shot off. With our big guns. Actually... Move over to here. Smoke screens up. We're going to keep the distance. We're at one four, so quite close. Very hard for the heavy cruisers to hit us now. We'll just keep going. We've only got a, we've got about three forty heavy shells left. No, we've got plenty of ammo. those big guns go off. Missed, of course. So he's pumped all that water out. That's it. So he's going. He's quite damaged in the smoke screen there. What have we got? It's filling up with water. So again, very damaged. Probably another shot off if we can. But I am now pretty willing to go after both of these because they're heavily damaged. I know we are still got 98% structural on this battleship. So we're pretty good. If we can now take him out with our next turret salvo. Missed, of course, again. So he's pumped most of that water out. Now, this is the problem. We are now sitting at 64% structure integrity. So... He's slower. Orlando is not that damaged. So I am thinking. But we are at 5%, so we are increasing. But we're pumping out the water. But we're getting closer over here. So I'm going to move across. I know it's going to lower our precision for the moment. But if we can slow him down.
Got 7% now. He's flooding. And they do have torpedoes, so we've got to be careful. We are also flooding now. So we are... Well, they're 45% flooded. Whoa! Ammo detonation. That's painful. We're in trouble. Luck of the dice. We may be able to pump that out, but he's turning now because he's heavily damaged as well, but we are in big trouble. We are pumping that water out, so we should get some speed back. Let's keep him in that direction. See how we're going down here. Now what I want to do is go after him. So we're going to go straight, turn around to our right, and the... Pump that water out. Survive with. Surprise we've lasted this long. So we should be going. What have we got? Any engine damage? No. We don't have any engine damage, so. I'm now going to try to make a runner. They are slow as well. He's faster though. He's sunk. All right, now it's time to go finish these two off. So we're going to lose Victoria. So let's try to damage them both as much as we can. Torps in the water. Sunk one of them and we sunk. Okay, one ship to go. Turret flying out. In the air. One for one there. So we've now sunk two light cruisers, two torpedo boats, one heavy cruiser, and we have lost two torpedo boats and one heavy cruiser. 
All right, let's speed up because we're going in for the kill. Once we find range, there he is. So we are now looking at, we don't need to go in range closer than that. He only needs a couple of shots. Should be able to take him out quite easily, but We are now down to 3% only. So he's sitting at something, he's just sitting at 4%. Holes all over that ship. Hole here, hole there. Got holes everywhere. We just gotta land a couple of shells and it shouldn't take too long to take out. We're at See if our next salvo of our 11 inch can hit. Two and a half Ks, so we're pretty much inside. Close range. We miss with our heavy 11 inch again. I don't want to really go f closer than this. We are now at 10%. Come on, let's land this salvo. Here we go. Missed. We're at now 12% and he's starting to make a little bit of damage on us. We're at 13%. Fifteen percent, and we miss. I don't want to move. We're at sixteen percent, but only our rear guns are going to hit from this angle now. But he's moving, so he's. I'm going to hope that our rear guns will take him out. Got a bit of fire on our decks. Still missed. So we've got quite a bit of damage on our tower so I reckon he's got a bit more speed than us now
Yeah. We've got fires all over. So we get both our guns on him. We're at 15% and absolutely scorching hot. We've got damage ripped open here. Come on, in top distance, close. We miss, so we're out. We're moving. Can't afford to be talked. Gonna rely on the reguns. We're at twenty percent now. Can't take this. Actually, it even tells us what these guns have damaged. The other seven fires, five floods. I like the detail. It's good. We are now in his tort. We are in big trouble. You're going to keep maneuvering around. Finally. I'm going to put this to auto. And also go aggressive on all our guns. Going to make it as hard as we can for him to plan a top. He is in top range. He's got one top left, so he's and he's gonna launch it. Any moment. There it is. And he's missed. Fantastic. No more torps left. Let's fire this salvo. And then it's time to go in for the kill. I tell you, our gunners are useless. Still cadets. What's saying with him though? Lucky, lucky last torp. Twenty-one percent. What's he at? Twenty-one percent as well. He's landing all of his shots. We're not landing our shots. Oh, finally! <laughs> we might have him. He's at 17, he's going to start pumping that out. He's pumping that out now. We're at 22%, we missed. None of our, all of our... Was harsh. We're at 35% structure and what's he at? 31. We need to hurry up and take him out. We've only got our main guns. Oh no, the light guns are up again. 
and we need these to land a punch right now. Oh, what, oh we got him. He's flooding, 12%. Three percent, and we are both in big trouble here. Twenty-six percent. He's pumping the water out again now. Big guns, please fire and make them land. Yes. Be reversing. Oh, that's no, front. Dead in the water. All well, these battleships. This battleship will be out of action for a while for repair if we don't sink. We might. Two percent. Now he started to pump water out. I think he's jumping between two and three. There he goes. And that's a battle that I didn't think we'd be having today, uh, but they didn't give me much choice. I wasn't able to run, outrun them, so we had a massive loss. Though we got heavily damaged, uh, again that's why his points, well our victory points are higher, but we got heavily BB damaged, uh, but I didn't think we'd survive. We took out three light cruisers, two heavy cruisers and a torpedo boat. We lost a torpedo boat, one heavy cruiser and one battle. Our battleship was heavily, pretty much will be out of service for some time. Okay, that's a battle I didn't think we'd get straight into on this episode. Uh, so we have just jumped into a battle. Uh, which we're going to go and build. We'll have to save building to the next episode. That is done and dusted. We won that battle. So it's one battle head to head. I think we, overall we'd be up with the amount of victory points we won in that one. Sinking quite a few. So if we go over and have a quick look at our shipping lists. Oops, no, we're in a shipyard. Sorry, a wrong area in our fleet. We're going to go down and have a look how badly damaged our ship. Where is our ship? Here we go. So comment. Well, that's repairing from previous battle, but here it is. We are 33%. So it's going to take five months to repair. So we will have a few more. We will put a few more out to sea. Oh no, we've still got a few out to sea. Put some heavies. Let's put some heavies out. Obviously costing money when we put these out. We'll put a light and a heavy, but where are we? Beam, beam, okay, let's put you out. C, control, and another one. C, control, okay. We'll go into ship build our research is well on its way we're hull strengthening we're about to kick over three more months big gun still got a bit and boilers we are on our way as well what else are we catching up with torpedo size 45 months there's still some time to go with most of those so we're going to leave it there but uh we have finally won a battle in our second episode and I can't wait to build that ship with you all on our next episode. So thanks again, everybody. If you want me to continue with this series with Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts, smash that like and subscribe button and comment below for any tips and, and tricks for me because I am very green to this game, but absolutely loving it. And a big thumbs up to the developers so far, but I'm sure we will pick up some extras that we would suggest to add so hopefully they're listening out and thanks again everyone and i will see you all on the other side